God has given us an assignment. The Christian life is one huge life of impossibilities. And you've been called by God to invade the impossible. It's who you are. People come to me, they say, uh, Bill, I need to know the will of God for my life. It's a great subject. You can take classes and read books. And... But Jesus made it pretty clear. He said, heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils, and cleanse lepers. Yeah, but I needed to know if I was to be a missionary or a pastor or a school teacher. Well, I don't care. Just pick a good one. Then heal the sick, <laughs> raise the dead, cast out devils, cleanse lepers. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm supposed to live in Southern California or if I'm supposed to go to Brazil and work there. I don't care. Just pick a good one. Heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils. Cleanse. Yeah, but I don't know if I'm supposed to be married and have children or if I should be single. Well, just pick one and then heal the sick, <laughs> raise the dead. You can go to school and be taught all about the Bible and they won't tell you to heal the sick, raise the dead, cast out devils and cleanse lepers. How can you learn about the will of God if you don't do the will of God? I mean, how can I be trained in something that's not on the list and feel like I'm doing the will of God? That was a good point, Bill. Just keep it up. Don't quit. His list is short. You know what's even crazier is when you read where he put it. Look in Matthew 10. You got your Bibles, right? Matthew chapter 10. In verse 7, he says, as you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, let's stop. Do you understand with me that by your will, you can fulfill that commandment? Right? You can walk, somebody in the front row can walk to someone on the back row, walk up to them and say, repent, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. You choose to do that or you choose not to do it. Yes? Look at it again. As you go, preach, saying the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out demons, freely you receive, freely give. Yeah, well, Bill. We don't actually heal the sick, we pray for the sick and God does the healing. Yeah, I know, he just didn't say that. Well, but we don't heal the sick, God heals the sick. I, I, I know, I, I'm struggling the fact that he didn't explain that. And the real problem is, is we think the rest of the Christian life is actually possible. You were drafted into an army, into a family that has been given one main assignment. See that world over there? It has written over the top, impossibilities, that's your assignment. Go display. See, the problem is that when we do church stuff and we do what the Lions Club can do and we do what any other organization can do and never invade the impossible, how are we any different? You've been given this incredible privilege to take the Spirit of the living God out into public places and to watch what He would do. It's stunning what He has, the heart He has for people. It's stunning to see what God will actually do. Anything we keep in church dies. It gets ingrown, perverted, and distorted. Anything we keep inside dies. 
Everything that is to stay sharp and honest and on edge has to be exposed to the elements. It's the way this kingdom works. It doesn't work well hidden in personal private places for own personal study. We meet together to be equipped to take the stuff out there and expose people to the elements of God's kingdom. It's just who we are. And so he gives us an assignment. Go give him this message and then heal them. Yeah, but Bill, we don't heal the sick. We just pray for them. I know, but he didn't say that. He commanded them as though they could do it. So then that means I've got to find out what he meant. 